In the series of learning programming in C, in previous videos I have covered arithmetic operators, assignment operators, increment and decrement operators, logical operators and relational operators with examples uh, in detail. Now in this video I will talk about bitwise operators in C. What are bitwise operators, types of bitwise operators, why to use these operators and how to use these operators, the syntax, the meaning and uh, when you use these operators in your program then what type of output you will get. Everything we will be discussing in detail about bitwise operators with some examples you can say with the program, right. So now let us discuss what are bitwise operators in C. See as the name suggests, bit, we have bit in this one, bitwise. So these operators are used to perform operations at bit level. What is bit? Bit is what? The smallest unit, storage unit in computer memory. We have first of all bit, then we have byte. Byte is what? Equal to 8 bits, right? So bit is the smallest uh, unit to store some data in computer memory and after that you have kilobyte and then megabyte, gigabyte, a terabyte like this. So bit is what? The smallest unit to store data in computer memory and using these operators we can perform, uh, in C we can perform bit level expression. We can manipulate you can say data at bit level although in ALU, in arithmetical logic unit, we in CPU we have that logical unit there every mathematical and logical operations uh, are executed. So those operations are obviously at a bit level because in computer memory we cannot store directly like 5 plus 4. So we cannot directly store 5 and 4. These are stored in binary form, zeros and 1 forms, right? Either in 4 bits or 8 bits, uh, generally 8 bits, right? But in C also, in uh, when we uh, do programming in C, then also we can perform bitwise operations. We can perform operations at bit level. So in this case, we can apply these operators on integer values and character values, but we cannot apply these operators on float and double values, right? Now types of bitwise operators we are going to discuss one by one. So these are bitwise operators, bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise xor, bitwise not or you can say once complement, this is left shift and this is right shift. And these are binary operators, we require two operands for these operators, this one is this bitwise not, this one is unary operator. We require only one operand to perform this operator, right? And see, if you write like this 5 plus 4, then, or if you write 5 and 4, then these type of operators, minimum inputs for these type of operators are what? A byte. They perform at byte level, 8 bits. Minimum uh, that requirement, minimum input, you can give off 8 byte sorry 8 bits that is one byte right now first of all discuss what is that bitwise and operator so it is binary operator so it requires two operand let us suppose i'm writing here a bitwise and b and i'm taking int a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 so now it is different from logical end there we use double end double m percent so now first of all in bitwise operators the data would be converted into binary form the decimal value would be converted at binary form then the operation is to be performed on that data after that you will get result and then result would be in binary form and then the result would be converted into decimal form and then the output would be printed to you so the output of these operators are what integer value any decimal value and output of logical and this operator is what either true or false means 0 or 1 but here we are not getting true or false we are getting proper output so now first of all see prerequisite of this is what you should know how to convert a decimal number to binary number. You should know how to convert a binary number to decimal number. If you don't know then maybe we, we can discuss in some other video when we are going to discuss number system. So now first of all convert 10, see 10 and 5 but we cannot perform directly. 10 should be converted to binary, 5 should be converted to binary. Now the binary value of 10 is what? 1010. I am using 4 bits to represent a number. See like this. I am just writing down the shortcut here 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3. So 2 raised to power 0 is 1, it is 2, it is 4, it is 8. Like this 2 raised to power 4 and like this you can write these numbers. But I am using 4 bit representations. In 4 bit representation we can take maximum number as minimum is 0, 0, 0 means 0 and maximum is 1, 1, 1, 1. We can put every place at 1. So now when you will add these numbers then it would be 15 in decimal. So I am taking numbers 
from 0 to 15 I am not taking greater than 15 if you take greater than 15 then what you can do you can again write here 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 36 64 like this you can write and you can take any number greater number also but I will take only number less than 15 right and this is shortcut this is how you we will uh, convert from decimal to binary and binary to decimal so now these are places now 10 so where you will write down 1 1 0 0 so that the addition of the, these numbers will become 10 8 plus 2 is 10 so this is 10 in binary 5 in binary is what here you place 1 here you place 1 4 plus 1 is 5 at other places remaining places I will put a 0 so this is 5 right we have converted into binary form now apply this logical and operator in the, on these so at a bit level we are going to perform this logical and now what is the output same here uh, you when you apply logical and then what was the truth table for logical and if you have 0 0 then you will get 0 if you have 0 1 then 0 1 0 then 0 if you have 1 1 then only you will get 1 if both the places are 1 then only you will get 1 right same you apply that logic here we have 0 and 1 0 1 0 0 0 and 0 and when you convert this is binary when you convert this into decimal then it would be 0 because there is no 1 so you cannot add any number so finally output would be 0 so the output would be 0 you will get 0 output that is bitwise end operator and we cannot perform these operators on minus numbers negative numbers right now see if you store like this c is equal to a bitwise and b then what you can see after execution of this statement each bit in c will be 1 only if the corresponding bits in both a and b are 1 both a and b are 1 otherwise bit would be 0 here we don't have both bits in a and b is, uh, are 1 so it is 0 so this is what bitwise and operator now what about bitwise or operator I am taking same example and this is bitwise or or when you will use that laptop or that key then this the key is like this this and this right now what is bitwise or operator here logical or is this one so what was truth table of logical or operator this is for end for logical or it is zero if any one is one then you will get one if both are zero then it is only zero so at a bit level you can say ultimately we are applying logical or but at a bit level right and in and at a bit level we are applying the concept of logical or right now see 10 is this one 5 is this one is binary form 10 or that logic uh, bitwise or and 5 what output you will get 0 1 1 this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 at every place we are getting 1 now convert this into binary at every place we are having 1 so add all the numbers this is having the, the number is 15 so final output you will get 15 right and if you write like this 10 logical or 5 then output you will get 1 that is true because this is true this is true and here if you you will use like and then also you will get output 1 this is true this is true but here you are getting a number decimal number so this is the difference between these operators logical operators and bitwise operators now next is bitwise bitwise xor operator now same here if i store this one into c then what you can say after execution of this statement each bit in c would be one only if the corresponding bits in either a or b is one otherwise it is zero right now bitwise bitwise xor operator same example i am taking here this one a and b the values are same so now a xor b now what you will get see the table of this xor is what if both the bits are same then output would be 0 0 if both the bits are different then you will get output 1 right so this is basically you can say to toggle the bits toggle means either the bit is 0 then it would be 1 if the bit is 1 it would become 0 right so now see a xor b here same a is having this value in binary b is having this value in binary now apply xor operations here 
zero one both bits bits are different so you will get one different one different one different one right so the final output would be same this also in decimal it would be 15 so output you will get 50 so i hope you got the meaning of these operators and these are decimal values if you, if you apply these operators on character values then character is also like this one a then a would be first of all map to the sky value that is 97 97 would be converted into binary number so we cannot store the 97 using four bits because maximum number can be stored uh, can be 15 so we will use eight bits eight bits means here 16 here we have 32 here we have 64 and you can write down here one means addition of if you write one then addition of those numbers here those places should be uh, to 97 so where you can put uh, write down one here like this here and here here and here 64 plus 32 is 96 and all the bits would be 0 and this bit would be 1 96 plus 1 is 97 like this so you can use character also so now let us take one example with a program i'm going to discuss this all the, the these type of operators the three operators so let us let us take this program no need to tell i guess output of this one this one and this one because i have already discussed value is here 6 and a is 5 so you can tell me in comment box let me discuss uh, this statement in this expression i am having multiple operators bitwise and also logical and also logical or also relational operator also now how the statement would be executed if in expression we have multiple operators check the precedence first of all precedence of this relational operator is higher then the priority of bitwise operators bitwise and then logical and then logical or operator right so first of all what would be converted what would be executed the, the operator which is having higher priority that is 1 that is plus so here b plus 1 b is what 6 so value becomes 7 right now priority of bitwise and is higher than logical operators so now this operator a and b a is 10 b is 6 first of all convert it into binary form then bitwise and means if both the bits of a and b are 1 then only it will give 1 otherwise it will give 0 so the final output i am writing here you can write down you can check out by converting it into binary and then the result you can convert into decimal the final output you will get 2 2 you will get here we have 7 logical and or 0 now this is the expression now logical and is having higher priority so this would be executed first 2 and 7 both values are true values because these are these are not zero true true means it will give true that is one one or zero if one is value is one about a logical or operator then final output you will get one so it will print one and suppose if i update this statement like this after this i'm writing here logical or and i'm writing here um, b plus plus so now this is post so original value would be used here in this expression and after the execution of this line after the semicolon after completion of the execution then b value can be incremented in post so b value is 6 so 6 would be used so here i have this one and 6 value right everything is same so now this operator is, is having higher precedence so this is one logical or here is zero here we have logical or and 6 logical or having same precedence associativity check the associativity that is left to right here left to right this would be executed first now first operand is one so it will not check the second one because if logical or if in logical or if first operand is one final it will it will give one so it will not check this one then or and here we have b plus plus b plus plus value is six now the first operand for this is one so it will not execute the second one final output would be one so the output would be one but if after this if you will print value of b then what value you will get you will get six you will not get seven why because this this expression is has not been executed because the first operand was one so this was not executed that is why no b plus plus only you will get six right if you maybe if you uh, replace this by and then maybe you can get b plus plus that is seven so you can tell me in comment box if i write here and operator logical and then what output you will get first of all output of this statement either 1 or 0 and after that value of b what out what value you will get right so i hope you got the basic idea of bitwise operators now in next video i'll discuss these three remaining operators bitwise not once complement left shift and 
right shift operator with the help of a program. If you have any doubt in bitwise operators, you can tell me in comment box. Maybe I can uh, make a separate video and with that proper examples with some uh, difficult type of example, tricky examples, right? So now that's it for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.